Hey you guys, good morning. Welcome back. Shanina. I hope you guys are doing well. If you're new to the channel, welcome. So today is going to be a work with me day pretty much because um, that's what most of my day is going to be consisting of. So, but I'm not going to of course film the whole entire day because then this would be an entirely too long of a video. Um, but I am going to do it, give you guys a glimpse of what I actually do. Um, on my next shift upcoming here. So I just finished an interval. So basically an interval is a 30 minute increment that you choose to work. So when the schedules come out, they come out about two weeks or a week before. And so basically you're choosing your schedule one to two weeks out. It just depends. Mostly two weeks. And um, there's boxes. So these boxes are 30 minute increments. So you choose what time slots you want to provide services for. So you get to create your own schedule. So um, the first shift that I worked was just the 30 minute interval. And the next one, the next one that I'm about to work is a one hour interval. So I chose two 30 minute boxes right next to each other. Um, with no break in between or anything like that and so I would work from for that whole hour um, you do have to schedule your breaks I recommend you schedule your breaks because realistically if you were outside of your home working and you were working in a brick and mortar call center there are going to be times where you have you'll be able to get up you know and go to the bathroom, go to the break room, go take a smoke break if you smoke, you know, things like that if you're working outside of the home, right? But with this, you have to schedule your breaks in. So you basically just do that by not picking a time slot. So um, it works out for moms like me that have kids who are at home, whether it's they're too young to be in school or they homeschool or they're doing virtual learning because of COVID. So... Um, it works out because you can choose the time slots that you're available to work and you're basically committing yourself to those time slots. So you'll get to see a little bit of how some of my calls go. Um, I will, of course, when I go back and edit this, I will try to take out the personal information parts because, of course, you don't want to disclose anyone's personal information. Um, so I'll probably either just take the sound out of that part um, when I start talking about the personal information, you definitely will not hear that. So, but just an idea of what I do. So I'm going to go ahead and I've got about five minutes to log in. Coffee makes me go to the bathroom. I drink coffee pretty much throughout my whole time that I'm working, even if it goes into the early afternoon, um, which today is one of those cases. So I just drink coffee. I don't really eat. Um, breakfast unless I'm like really really hungry and I would have to wake up hungry for me to eat breakfast as far as getting dressed and everything um, I did take a shower so I just have one just some uh, capri pants a shirt and a little sweater to keep me warm and I haven't taken off my bonnet so that's one of the things that you don't have to worry about when you're working from home is you don't have to get dressed now I want to say this, um, I would not recommend not getting dressed if you are doing a client on the Arise portal that requires you to have a webcam um, to interact with the webcam, with the guest through webcam if the guest requests it or the customer requests it, right? So I wouldn't necessarily be like this, servicing the client on a webcam, okay? So just keep that in mind. But I don't use a webcam for my client, so <coughs> no one even knows what I look like. So let me go ahead and make another bathroom run and then I'm going to come back and start getting everything on the go. Now keep in mind, um, 
you only get paid by the time that you are available to take calls so my shift starts in four minutes so in four minutes my phone system needs to be in the ready mode um, that's me being on time for my interval so um, again you only get paid for the time that you're ready to take a call so this is not where you're getting paid based on how long you're on a call it's not like that um, as long as you're ready to receive a call even if a call doesn't come through as long as you are your system is physically ready to receive that call and assist somebody if the line does come you know if someone does come through your line then you'll get paid for that so i've got three minutes so i'll be back hi asia this is shanine over in sales how are you today <clears throat> i am doing awesome thank you for asking um i have a guest who is a rebook of a rebook in I'm um, just calling to see if we can apply the credits and onboard credits and transfer funds. Uh, my mapper is 1DQ, so 1 David Q. Okay, so the original was 8W. D T Yes, ma'am. And the rebook um, booking to that one is G. All right. So I am finishing up this shift and so this shift was an hour long but it went over because the call was a longer call um so i think you guys caught a middle portion of the call you you did i didn't start recording from the beginning of the call i was trying to get a whole call for you guys um which is going to be kind of tricky tricky because of this the um, client that i searched for so the call volume is kind of slow but when you do get a call because of what you have to do it can go it can be a long call so um when you're on a call and your time is ending like let's say i'm supposed to log out at 12 o'clock well if i'm still on the call then i still have to service that call and i still get paid while i'm still on that call because that's i took that call before it was time for me to get off now, let's say I'm supposed to get off at 12, there's no calls coming through, but I'm still logged in at 12.02, but I did not actually schedule myself to service after 12, Then and I take a call and service that call, then I will not get paid for that time because I did not schedule myself for that time, if that makes sense. So, for my shift, I was about three minutes late um, because I had to go see what Olivia was doing. I heard her walk, walking around. Um, so, when you have your kids at home or when your spouses are at home, they can be a bit of a distraction. Like, even right now, when, you want, when you're doing this, you want to make sure you have some really good headsets because... Um, with the noise canceling option because I don't know if you guys can hear but the bathroom behind me is the hallway but behind that is the bathroom and Babe's in there playing music right now and he started playing it while I was in the middle of my call and I could hear it but you never know if the other person on the other side can hear it so you want to definitely make sure you have some really good headphones before I got these I had some other headphones and um, there was some noise going on in the background, and the customer pointed it out while on the call. And all of our calls are monitored, so you can imagine how that, uh, <laughs> what type of email I got after that happened. But yeah, so you definitely want to get you some good headsets when you're doing this.
Carnival Friendships. My name is Shanine. May I have your name, please? Good afternoon, Mr. Mathis. How are you today? Awesome. Are you currently booked or working with one of our travel agents? <laughs> Was he your personal vacation planner? Still reside in North Carolina. Awesome. And let me grab your VIFP number at gmail.com and still get email address for you. Okay. And what was the canceled booking number? Friendships. My name is Shanine. I'm going to have your name, please. Good afternoon, Miss Kimberly. How are you today? I'm doing okay. Thank you for asking. Are you currently booked or working with one of our travel agents? Okay. And have you cruised? Awesome. Welcome back. Um, I do show your calling from nine. And what state or province do you reside in? Thank you. And can you confirm your email address, please? Can you confirm your email address, please? Awesome, thank you. And how can I help you get your cruise book today? Um, yes, ma'am. Let me make sure I heard you correctly. Um, so you saw some balconies on the Miracle, and you were wondering the differences between the one with the obstructed view and the non-obstructed view, correct? Oh, okay. Okay. Let me see if I can see what you see. We're looking at the Carnival Miracle Alaska Cruise July 7th, July 15th of 2022. Okay, leaving out of San Francisco and here we go. Okay, so you're going to Juno, cruise the Tracy Arm Ford, Ketchikan, and Canada. So let's see. Balconies. <clears throat> and what deck did you see those on? The one that you saw. Well, let's see what I can tell from the rates of the cabin. I'm wondering if it's the difference of the decks. 
um, because there is about a $5 difference. I'm looking at the cabin rates and there is about a $5 difference depending on location um, of the cabin. So let's see. There's some cove balconies, so those are going to have the obstructed views. So those are starting at, let me see, it looks like you actually have an offer. And the second, I guess, there's two of you traveling, correct? Okay, the second guest, have they cruised before or is this going to be a first cruise for them? So let me pull his VIFP number as well. What's his um, name? Okay. okay. Awesome. Because I saw that you had an offer under your VIFP number. It's a bar on board VIFP offer. And it looks like he has the same one. So, yeah, if you're, let's see, you have an option, you can do a guaranteed cabin where your, where Carnival chooses your cabin for you. Um, and for balconies, if we're choosing your own cabin, they're starting out at an average rate per person of sixteen oh nine under the So those are our cove balconies, um, which they have obstructed views. And then the starting rate for the standard balconies, depending on where it's located, is going to be um, $16.49 average rate per person. And then there's about a $5 difference uh, depending on where the cabin is located. Okay, you guys. So it's finally the end of the workday. It is almost 6 o'clock. And so, um, not a whole lot of calls today, but the calls were long. So you guys kind of picked up on the client that I work for. So due to the COVID, there were a lot of changes with the client that I'm servicing. And so the process on the calls are a little bit longer than they normally are. Normally calls aren't that long. Um, you can keep a good average handling time with a call, um, in a normal circumstance, you're able to maintain the percentage that they want you to be at for your um, call time. But of course, with all of the changes, you will have, well, I know for me, um, since the pandemic started, the calls have been longer. Ooh, excuse me, longer. So the call handling time has been longer, and it's been kind of hard to stay um you know, within that, that range that they want you to be in. So, but it's all good. They understand. Um, they still, of course, you know, send out emails and stuff wanting us to work on it. But I think they understand that, you know, people are just kind of concerned right now and don't want to do certain things traveling wise when it comes to, um, you know, everything that's going on right now. So, you guys, that was, I know it wasn't much for this vlog, but that was like a realistic day of a work day for me. It entails a lot of sitting here at my desk. So, and this is just taking calls. This isn't even um, the emails that I have to put together for my business. So now I have to switch, take a break, eat something. Um, I'll probably relax for like an hour or so, and then I'll get back to work. Um, which is me doing some emails for my business and um, reaching out to those who are kind of at a standstill with the registration process and editing the video for Vlogmas for you guys. So um, hopefully this was somewhat informative for those who are actually wondering, well, what do you do? You always say that you work from home, but we never actually see you work. So that is pretty much it in a nutshell as far as what I do from home so um if you guys are interested and you want to kind of check out um your options as far as doing what I'm doing make sure you visit salesstaffingsolutions.com I am taking um new agents through the onboarding process to get you guys registered into some of the certification courses um the client that I service is not currently on the portal right now but there are some other ones that are on there that are great clients as well and um so yeah you guys thank you for watching my video comment down below and give this video a thumbs up share with your friends and make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on any videos that I upload to this channel and I'll see you guys later bye